I've been really wanting to play it recently, and I've been craving a, uh, I've been craving a different experience, because what I usually play, uh, uh, at least in my free time, is, uh, Secret 3, I play Secret 3 a lot, and, you know, it's, it's gotten a bit, um, boring, I'm sure if you play CK3, you can understand, you, you know, like, CK3 is a bit lackluster currently in its current stage. And it's honestly a bit frustrating to play. After 1.8, all the bugs that were released, it just really turned me off. I really didn't want to play it anymore, or uh, I didn't really uh, want to record it anymore, I should say. Because I still do play it. I felt like at this current stage that it's in, it's not worth making videos about CK3. Uh, and after playing CK3 a lot, I've been craving to play U4 because, I mean, there's just more. <laughs> there's simply just more flavor and more features and more mechanics and just more experience to be had, I guess. Now, I have about 630 hours in this game, so, um, I have, a, I have some experience, but I forgot to check, but I think the last time I played this game was back in April of 2021. <laughs> it's been a very long time since I've played this game. But I was thinking I could just play some campaigns by myself just to get, you know, get my grasp on the game before I uh, record. But you know what? I said, screw it. Let's just go in there and I'm going to show you my rust and, ch and hopefully, uh, hopefully it doesn't go very poorly. I completely forgot it restarts the game when you back out. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, these are the mods that I'm really playing with inside the uh, expanded family. Let me figure out real quick who I'm going to play because uh, there's so many options. As usual, I usually like playing in the Middle East. Uh, it's my favorite uh, region, historically, I mean. Middle Eastern history it fascinates me more than most, so... I always tend to play over here, but I'm kind of scared to play over here because, <sighs> because of this. Alternatively, I can be Bengal, you know, some something's telling tell me to be Bengal, you know? I don't know, I feel like maybe Bengal is the one to go for. Nasir Uddin Mahmud, 433, that's really nice. That's for our ideas, trade efficiency plus 10%, that's pretty cool to start off. Army Tradition plus 5 Point five, dev cost, idea cost, land leader shock, national tax, and goods produced. And then the starting ideas, national manpower and infantry combat ability is really cool. And final bonus is artillery damage from back row plus 50%. Okay, so clearly the game wants me to play a more economic game, more trade and development oriented. Okay, fine. All right, now how the fuck do I play this game, man? I think first thing, I'm going to look at is my missions. Okay, so we got to take Arissa, and then we get permit claims and province war score costs. Okay. Going deeper into this region, I get more claims and diplomatic re reputation plus two. Technology at least four. Army size at 100%. Total dev at 200. Oh, so it's it's on Juanpur. Okay, we get a permanent claim in Juanpur, uh, essentially. Lots of stuff here. Okay, so a lot of stuff here. A lot of stuff. Then at the end here, we can get t the Tiger Triumphant become an empire we get a whole bunch of dev prestige tiger tribal for 50 years core creation costs and diplomatic annexation costs i have a core on orissa apparently all right okay i guess it's time to set our rivals then one per we have oh i don't need more so is there a reason i guess i'll set orissa because i'm planning to go to war with them anyways i'm aware that the pretty much the most important tech is military being ahead in military tech is the most important thing, so what I'm going to do is... Should I just focus immediately? I'm going to focus on that immediately, I think. I think that's what I want to do. There's a mission out here. Claim the Eastern Aryan Cultural Hegemony. What? Core creation cost? Don't really need that. Liberty Desire and Dipple Rep? Don't really need that, so I guess we'll go for tax. And of course, we have the estates, which I am going to be honest, I have no fun. <laughs> King glue what the hell to do with this oh my god this is this is terrifying all right so this is what i said for my estates uh hopefully that's fine it seemed pretty cool i guess i don't know of course if i did anything wrong you feel free to critique me or or say so in the comments whatnot i'm 
completely open to that. Oh god, now I have to worry about the- Okay, so now I gotta look at what the hell is going on diplomatically. I need to look for some allies. There's a strong ally here in Malwa. Why would I ally you, though? Because you're rival to Juanpur. Probably best that I ally you. Oh my god! Let's for another one. Okay, we have a siege guy, and that's good. I'm kind of scared to attack Orissa first, because they got all their vassals, and they themselves have 15,000 troops. Maybe I'll be fine, but I don't know. What's another good alliance I can get? I can get Delhi. Does Delhi hate Juanpur? Yes. We can have, like, a, a hug box around Juanpur here. That actually be really nice. I should probably say this as a disclaimer before we start here. I am not a meta gamer, okay? I do not meta game. I do not play that way. Um, I do not maximize modifiers or whatnot in gameplay or I don't know whatever you you you, you it is. I just don't play that way. I don't enjoy it. I feel like it's not a very fun way to play. So when you're giving me tips, please refrain from you know giving me tips that have to do with meta gaming or cheating the system or in in any way. Uh, I just don't enjoy playing that way, and I would like to not play that way. Uh, so, yeah, that's just a disclaimer. You might see me make decisions that you might question or might be confused about. Just don't worry about it. I play my way, okay? I play the way that I enjoy to play, okay? So, just keep that in mind. How much trade can I transfer from here? I don't even know. Oh my god, I completely forgot how complicated this whole trade system is. 1.4 is coming from here. 0.65 is coming from here, so why don't I just have you transfer more here? One for Tamarades, of course, of course. Oh my god, yes. EU4AI, there it is. What the fuck? What is going on? Delia wants help in the war? Oh, uh, that's unfortunate. I really can't help you there, bud. Oh my three star general. Oh, uh, well, this is this is cool. I can't fucking help you. I actually can't help him. I like the morale of armies. I really like the fort defense, and I like the missionary strength. I'm gonna go over mysticism. Ah, so that's great. We've already lost an ally. Cool. Sick. Sick. <gasps> oh. 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 I'm coming to save you. I'm coming to save you, Delhi. Now, how do you fight a three-star general? Uh, what's the tech looking like? Obviously, same tech. I don't know what, what else I expected there. Let's take out these small armies here. I hope they don't reinforce. They probably will reinforce, though. They didn't. We're going to stack wipe them. That is a nice stack wipe. That is a glorious stack wipe there. Okay, and before they take this, I we should probably help. We should probably take Delhi, right? Uh, am, I, am I doing something badly? Am I, am I being stupid? Shift consolidate. I know about that one. I mean, we have a major advantage over them, so I feel like we should not lose this, especially when we get the reinforcements. Look at that! Look at that! Oh my god, I know how to play EU4. Don't worry, guys. That did cost me a lot of manpower, though, so... Uh, that's unfortunate. Oh my god! Oh my god, this is the perfect time to attack Juanpur! Oh! Okay. As long as they're still in that war, I hope they'll, they'll stay in that war. As for military access, sure. Is Delhi gonna help me, though? They are? Oh, okay, okay. Now it's time to go in. Here we go. This is an all out battle here. More inflation. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Completely. Yeah, it's just not fair at this point. And get the. Oh! It's done. Okay. They got completely fully annexed. Delhi's announced Molten as their new rival. I need to uh, quickly get back down home because Juanapur is still at war with the Timurids. This is a great opportunity to clear war on them. Actually, once I get Miltech 4, which I'm getting close to, then I get the cores or the claims. Oh, I still need the dev. I forgot about that. Why are you I like to fucking Chagatai? Oh my god. Juanapur is paying reparations. They had to pay ducats. And they're immediately at war again. They're probably hemorrhaging manpower right now. They have no manpower. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think, honestly, best time to go for them. Forget their allies. 
I can invest in new tech. <gasps> Let's go. Okay, okay, okay. What now? What now? I need more dev. Is it worth being behind in tech? I think it is. Because if we get this, we um, pretty much have all of one per, and that is a lot more valuable than just being behind a little bit in tech. One, two, three, four, four, five. Probably should have gotten that before I started, but it's too late. Okay, we're now six away. So what I need to do now is uh, something. We can get all the dev we need by just conquering one of these guys here. I think we should be these guys. I don't have any claims, though, unfortunately. I could have planned this out a lot better uh, if I actually knew what I was doing. You have too many allies. These guys are the easiest to go for, I think. So let's just get a claim on them real quick. Jelly Annex Jangladesh. Ah, I didn't even know they had a vassal. That's good, though. A good, a, a good strong ally is always fine. I don't really care that he's growing a lot. As long as he stays an ally. Delhi has announced Multan as their rival. Delhi declared war on Kashmir. Please do not call me into that war. All in on that one. Take him out. I don't know what Hwanapur did. What was that? Oh, they're no longer at war. Oh, they're allied to Timurids again. Oh, no. Uh, if I had planned it better, I could have... <laughs> uh, if I had planned it better. Man, it's fine. It's fine. I might take this piece still. Full Annex Koch, then just vassalize Assam. Don't really care much for the coalition. Aggressive expansion is also not going to be too much of an issue because uh, my next war I'm planning is with a uh, Muslim state, so it should be fine in the long run. Get some ducats as well, and that deal. Why is aggressive expansion green? Why the fuck is it green? Wasn't it red before? We have a fulfilled mission though. Now we get claims on all this, which is nice. A really nice thing is, Juan Poor is currently hemorrhaging manpower and they're busy fighting in the Timurid Succession Wars. So it's still a very good time to go for them. I've also forgotten to check what my combat width is. I completely forgot about combat width. I'd also greatly appreciate if you can give me some tips on uh, army composition uh, as the time goes on and as you get more te technology. Because uh, I'm really not sure um, how that well works. So yeah, please help me. <gasps> yes, we can finally do it. Gunpowder warfare. And we gotta go for it now. We gotta do it now. Immediately, as soon as possible. Don't even spend any time waiting. Timurids will not help. Fortunately, still have Chagatai, Multan. They still have a lot of allies. So this is gonna be a pretty big war. I probably should get some mercenaries. I probably should get some mercenaries. I should probably get some mercenaries. Oh my god, I forgot about the overforce limit thing. Oh, that's- oh, oh, oh no, we're just hemorrhaging money. Oh, we're hemorrhaging money. Please get rid of one of them. Wow, I forgot about the overforce limit. Oh, that- ooh, that was really bad. Oh, uh, what? I thought I got rid of you. Oh, I closed it, idiot. Okay, that's- that's a bit better, honestly. That's a bit better. Oh, I completely forgot about that. That could have been so bad. 64k versus 32,000. Let's go. Most importantly, most of the uh, Hwanpur army is stuck over in Persia, and they cannot come back un unless they get through Delhi. So pretty much we have free reign to siege down Hwanpur. They have nothing here. It's going pretty well so far. Hwanpur still can't come back because they need to get past these forts. So we're just sitting here just <laughs> sieging down their entire country. 42%? Yes, 310 days. Look at that. Time to carpet siege. And that is one poor completely fully occupied. All right. Now I got to piece out the rest of their allies. You will white piece. My watch done. At least I feel like this is better for us. We kind of need the missionary strength. Okay, Molten's got to be done now. Thank you. Give me some money. I just need to get Chagatai and Yarkand out. And I'm spending so much manpower going through these mountains. Is this really a smart idea? No. But am I doing it anyways? Yes. Come on. Now you're done, right? Yes. Thank you. Goodbye. Now we have 100% on Hwanpur. It's just a number, isn't it, right? It's just a number. It doesn't really mean anything. If I if I remember correctly. Grass expression means literally nothing in this game. Um, uh, that's pretty much... Yeah, yeah. That, that's... Uh, yeah, right? Yeah, okay. So we're going to do that. And uh, yeah, all right, anyways. We're gonna be really behind in admin tech, but you know, that's usually how it goes when you're playing expansionist to begin with. Uh, you really fall behind admin, but you know, I'm, I'm fine with that. Oh, uh, this is the worst time to call me into a war, man. 
Mean in the meantime, while Hunpur has been handicapped, Arisa has been growing steadily. That's gonna be a problem in the future, and my siege general just died, didn't he? Oh, coalition formed. Oh, would you look at that? That's uh. Hmm. Oh no, I'm so scared. Oh gosh, guys. Don't declare war on me, please. I'm confident it won't fire. I'm just too strong. Me and my allies combined. I'll just have to wait it out, I guess. That's fine. Oh, yes! Okay, gotta, gotta, sorry, gotta blast out of here, Mawar. I gotta go deal with my own issues. Uh, get Miltech 5. We had a time. That's always good. Oh. Did I make the Emirs too powerful? Because it looks like they want to revolt. Uh, this ain't good at all. Oh, it's because of my work, Shoshin. Oh, I have way too much work, Josh, and I didn't realize that at all. Oh, God, that's why my unrest is so high. Okay, well, now it's not anymore. Jesus. Okay. Whoa. Dude wasn't even in his 40s, and he already died? What do you mean? How did he die? At least we have a 445, but how? Was not that old at all. Now I have to spend more admin. Oh my god, I wasn't planning to do this. Mirsi's power. Oh yeah, that's Timurid's gone. Timurids are completely erased. Oh no, there's still still a little bit left. Okay. Good. Co coalition's now dissolving. There we go. There goes a the coalition. It's done. Zero 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 consort. Yeah, yeah, that's really, really awesome. That's a really nice consort there. Very reassuring to know that the throne will be in good hands just in case a uh, regency is needed. You have an heir? 422? Mm, okay. Good admin. That's actually really nice. That's actually uh, really helpful for me. Uh, Conqueror Assam I can go for next. More Hindus? I could just give this all to Assam instead of, so I don't use my uh, admin. Actually, that might not be a bad idea. Actually, I really like the sound of that, actually. And you're a tributary of Ava. Oh, so I can't attack you because we're allied to Ava. That's really unfortunate. You're also a tributary of Ava. Oh, no. What? Oh! I was allied with Ava because they were going to be a helpful ally for me in this region when I was, well, conquering it. But I guess, guess not. In the meantime, we should still fight these guys. Yutia declared we're on Pegu. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, that is amazing. Now you you won't join if I declare one a rock gun. All right, let's go. All right, that's done. Finally, I've increased my admin. I can now build mosques. And you will be full annexed. Give me all your money. Goodbye. You should fulfilled in Arakan piracy. Our relationship with the Arakan is complex. Sometimes our nominal subjects at other times are a thorn in our side. At present, Arakan is a ladder. Its rulers allow pirates to plunder the sea and the coast as they please, disturbing our trade. We must stamp out the pirates and restore the rule of law over Arakan. Gain 25 Navy tradition, and we get claims on Burma. At this point, though, I could probably go for Orissa and be fine, maybe? They do have a lot, but we have Malwa and Ava. Oh, Delhi won't join? Why not? They're 380 in debt. How did you manage to go 380 ducats in debt? What? What? These guys are completely isolated, so let's just immediately attack them. My alliance with Ava is completely redundant now because everything I need to conquer in Burma is pretty much owned by them, or at least a tributary of them. And to get the Assam mission done, I need these two provinces. So, I think we're done here, guys. Oops, that's the wrong button. Sorry. Not sorry. We're done here. This alliance is over. Am I so zoomed out? Now, patronize Sufi scholars. Gives us negative 50% construction costs and plus 10% real estate. All right. We need to build certain buildings in certain provinces, and then we can get... <laughs> okay. An increase in production in all of those provinces. And dev cost is lowered, and missionary strength is higher. Holy shit. I was gonna say I could go to war to Ayutthaya, but I don't even know who they're allied with. I don't know why. Ming. Uh, Malwa declares one bump on us. Okay. 
Sure. Ooh, I can trade company Perma. Honestly, it doesn't seem like a very bad idea at all. I think there's a lot of very valuable goods around here. I think. Alright, let's do it then. Let's turn into a trade company. Okay, this, this war is essentially over, guys. Can we not? They're completely fully sieged. Let me see something. If I were to bring someone to collect, uh, to transfer, it made it even better. Okay, yeah, all right. I was doing something wrong then. Yeah, because now we earn even... Yeah, okay, yeah, obviously. Okay, all right. I understand now. Trade... Uh, collecting in your own trade node doesn't make any sense. Understandable. Yeah, I'm not going to waste any more time. I'm just going to go to war. Mawad would want things if I were to call them in, but I honestly don't think I need their help. We have a tech advantage on Juan Per. Let me look at Juan Per. Oh my god! We have a huge morale advantage over them. And discipline. Oh, what? <laughs> well, screw it then. I'm going to war. Screw this. I'm going to war immediately. I don't need anyone's help. I I'll take Delhi, but I don't need Mawa's help. Oh, I forgot I can... Oh no, I forgot I can do all this. Oh. Oh, oh I should've... Ooh, yeah, because now Delhi's gonna fucking take that. Oh no. Oh, I forgot about that whole feature in this game, guys. Oh, no. Dilly's gonna take all that shit. Oh. Please give this to me, Delly. Please give this to me. I... Come on, man. I... I just want... Oh. Delly's already in a massive debt, so hopefully we can get, just get them to white peace. Maybe they'll just white peace by themselves. If I could take this for myself, I don't know. Uh... Their siege is being capitaled. That's not what that English is. Give me war reps and money. Thank you very much. We finally taken the capital. And Delhi took it? Surely not. You're, you're going to give it to me. That's my war goal. That's my war goal. Wait, what do you... Oh, you fucking pig. Where do all the other armies go? <laughs> What is happening? How? Huh? Actually, honestly, that's fine. Just see, resiege down the deli stuff, and I'll be happy. I'll be honestly okay if you just resiege the deli stuff. I'll just take it back from you guys. We can get the uh, next admin. Now we can get an idea. We'll go quantity. We'll meet. I don't. I don't think we need to go for the national manpower yet. I mean, I'm still ahead of time when it comes to miltech, so I guess I'll do this once. Okay, clear the delta has been finished. Now we can get base tax in all these provinces. Or, or uh, what is it? Production. Take the money. Take the war reps. Okay, just give me war reps. And, all right. Okay. Now let's go back. Chagatai and their vassal still in this. Uh, they're on my capital now. Uh, Wait, they still haven't taken that back? What? 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 Wait, what? Wait, what? What is happening? Guys. What is happening? I could have sworn they literally took that back. The game told me they took it back. Did it not? You can't be serious, right? Oh my god, they just they just breached. They just breached my capital. Bengal left. What? <laughs> or Delhi left. Not Bengal. Delhi. What? What the fuck? Okay, then I'll call in... Oh. Uh... Did I just fuck myself over? What? Okay, at least Delhi's not in the war. God damn. All right, well, all right, fine. Dead to the chains, yes. Okay. Let's try to finish you. That's fine. Uh, how much is it going to give me? Oh. Okay, let's get some mercenaries out here now. Let's get the independent company. Actually, that's a lot. 11. We'll just get the grand company instead. Let me slow the game down because I, I need to fucking focus. Okay, I just stacked wipe one poor army. Sure. That works. I need to get back to my capital. Oh, wow. That was a really bad battle. I just stack wipe them. Uh, <laughs> what? 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 How did I stack wipe them? Oh, yeah, because I have so much more morale than them and discipline. Even there's even on Miltech 6, they're on the same Miltech as me. Okay, they've actually caught up to me. But I still... How did I do that? All right, guys, if you could kindly get the fuck out of here uh, um <laughs> is is 
is something am I am I am I missing something I do have a lot more morale I do have more discipline I've heard tradition uh I don't know how I've done this okay well that's the end of the war I guess what the hell was that Noir declared war on Hunter. That's not good. I need to take every. I need to carpet siege the shit out of everywhere before Noir takes anything. Okay, we have everything sieged down. Okay, Noir cannot take anything. Nothing can be taken by Noir. Thank God. All right, we're good. We're good, guys. We're good. Coalition doesn't matter. And there we go. I didn't even check how much admin that costed. Wait, Delhi broke their alliance with me. They're oh, they're rival to Mala. That's not good. I know Bamanis is very weak, but as long as they're distracted, this is a good opportunity. Plus, when I call Malwa in, and I could also grant a lance to Andra. Looking at the difference, though, I oh my god, I have a whole 1.08 morale on them and more discipline, and I have more tradition as well. Okay, four, five, two? I have three heavies, right? Can't I just... Yep. Yes, I can. I unfortunately had to take a piece deal like this because Andra had sieged this down uh, for themselves, so I couldn't take it, unfortunately. But uh, this is what we got. Got a lot of money, too, so we can pay off our loans. Earthquakes and roads. Oh no, Ottomans. I haven't I don't even know how good the Ottomans. It looks like the Ottomans are doing perfectly fine. What the f <laughs> What? Azerbaijan has been formed by it seems Karakoyonlu. What? I didn't even know this was a formable. Other ideas. Port defense, cost of advice, that's uh, really bad. Oh okay, what has happened here? So Bamanis just took a shit ton of land and made Arisa release a bunch of nations. Theoretically speaking, if I were to just fully annex these guys, would it be better to no 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 it would be better to um keep them alive so they keep their tributaries so they don't become tributaries of Ming. That's a better thing to do. I like that idea. Complete a mission. Aim once ability, mission only strength, and taunt of strength. Okay, that's that. All right, good, good. New reps, please. That's all I want. I just want these couple provinces. Then I'll just complete the mission. Then I'll come back again. Because I can just very easily clean up uh, Ava. They don't seem to be making any allies at all. I'm so in manpower debt. I'm so far in manpower debt. I'm losing so much manpower. Come on. Thank you. Get out of here again. More, more reps. Oh, you won't give me more reps. Okay, fine. We should complete, conquer some. Gain manpower, which is really nice. And we get flames on all of this. In 1491, five Diplo. That means I'll be making zero Diplo. Let me get this Diplotech first, and then I'll do it. Admin as well. Okay. Now I will annex you. Oh, uh, I don't like that. BG Anakar just declared war about Mahanis. Okay, yeah, cool. Great, now we can't get to their capital. Awesome. Dude, just end them already. You're on 28%. How are you not done? Oh, finally, take the capital. All right, now peace out. Please. Please, you peace out first. This is a humiliate war, okay? I, I can't really get any war score. Do it! There we go. Okay, where's their capital now? Do we have it? Do we have the capital? W where do they move the... Oh, okay, we have the capital. They're improving relations with Ming. I hate the idea of that. Let's not do that, all right? Where the fuck is Delhi going? Malwa! What are you doing? You're, you're, the, the, they're your rivals. Why are you giving them military access? Okay, now we'll take a mission. I get all more claims. 
Why is it 247 just to core this? Oh, there's 27 development. Oh. We can ally Transoxiana. I like that because that can help me against Delhi. Oh, I am way over my governing capacity. Oops. I didn't realize that. Here's lands rights. Gonna have to do that, unfortunately. Now I'm just barely under it. Oh, Bavman has just got completely broken apart. It's actually really good. It gives me negative 15% problem sorcerer cost. So it's gonna be really important in my uh, next conquest. Yeah, I think it's now time for me to chill out and stop with the conquest because I don't want to get too far up my uh, governing capacity. What I've been trying to do is get this guy as a vassal here, but I don't know if it will be enough if I mirror him and ally him. I don't know if it will be enough because I want to vassalize him and just feed him all these claims that I have, even though I know he doesn't have reconquest and it would be better if he had reconquest, but I still want to grow. And I don't want the land for myself because it would just be governing capacity. And I want this guy specifically because he has Gone Traditions plus 10% morale of armies and National Manpower modifier. So he'd be a pretty strong vassal. Now 136 right now because we're allied. If I Royal Married them, would it work? I don't think it would. Let me see how much a Royal Marriage is. 25, yeah. Yeah, it won't work. Maybe if I uh, get some other things... Okay, let's influence them. We can offer the military access. Would that give them more? Yes. And then a marriage will also be enough. Yes. Yes. Perfect. 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 Okay, offer vassalization. There we go. Boom. They're my vassal now. Now I can feed them all of my claims. We need to rush down Vijayanagar as quickly as possible to get them out of the war. Oh, I forgot about mm, Navy. Holy shit, they have 34 ships. And Vijayanagar just... Fucking took the capital of Malwa. Cool. Great. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, my God. That reinforcement is just in... Oh. Uh. 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 Will that get in there in time? 21st, I think. Oh, that battle's over. That battle's over. That battle's so over. Uh. Retreat, retreat, where, what? Hmm? What is this? Oh, fuck. God damn it. Oh my god. Can you reinforce, but. Oh! <gasps> Malwa actually saved me. Oh my god, I can't believe that. Massive battle, massive battle, massive battle. Huge battle, huge battle, huge battle. Come on! Yes! Oh, I can get next Miltech. It's over. It's over for you now. It's over. Oh, shit. Malwa peaced out. Actually, that's not the worst thing, honestly. Okay, all I need you to do is end your alliance with those guys, and that's it. I'll go for war score costs. No, I can do this with zero cost. And we've taken Vijayanagar. All right, now I think I'm going to peace out Vijayanagar. I kind of just want to cripple them as much as possible. So I'm going to just take all their money and get war reps. I can also just pillage their capital. So, yeah, let's let's do that. Here we go. I could upgrade my great projects, but there is something I do want to save up for. Claim the Eastern Aryan Culture Hegemony. I have all the requirements except the money and stability. There's just need 3,000 ducats. For stability. And... Claim the Eastern Aryan Cultural Hegemony. This gives us a whole host of buffs. I've essentially declared war on almost all of Burma. Oh my god, 49%. Can you take this already? Thank you. No, you didn't take it. Oh, uh, you didn't take it. You still haven't taken it. I really need you to take it because my call for beasts is... Oh my god. That, is, that was really high for a second there. Thank you for finally taking it. I would like to end this war now. Now, a lot of people are going to hate this, but really, I don't care. I'm going to be honest. I really don't care about a Buddhist coalition means nothing to me. There we go. Now, I have massive overextension. Now, again, the reason I'm keeping Ava alive is so they keep those tributaries, and because I do not want them to become Ming tributaries and have to fight Ming. Plus 10% production efficiency and plus 0.1 really efficient reduction. 
we get admin power, and that allows us to get more governing capacity, which is nice. Your reward, Vigiana Guard. Wait, Overlord. What? Oh, fucking. Fucking fuck. Fuck me. Fuck everything. Fuck. I and then I don't care. I'm still gonna go to war then. I'm just gonna get mercenaries this time. Oh, yes. Oh, isn't that great? Oh, isn't that wonderful indeed? I forgot I hired the fucking Grand Company. I'm just not using them at all. I'm just not using the Grand Company at all. That's my bad. Not gonna lie. Oh my god, they fucking breached the capital fort. What? Okay, I need to do some breaches of my own. This is insane. Okay, that's one. Let's go beat this army and go back home. Holy shit, this is so bad. Okay. Okay. Holy shit, that was scary. One admin. Are you fucking serious, dude? One admin. And this is fine. Pull our mission. Get plus two diplo rep. That's actually perfect, so I can immediately uh, integrate you. Um, you're kidding, right? Oh, negative two! I don't have the admin! Oh, no! Oh, great. Fucking great. Absolutely sick. That's really cool! Oh, and she's corrupt. Of course she is. Of course she's fucking corrupt. Timurids? The Timurids? What? I'm pretty sure Transoxiana just reform the timurids okay <laughs> oh fucking gay all righty then oh no these guys are at war with the ming why why no way no fucking way oh and i need all of burma too i need all of burma in order to get to this i literally need all of burma Okay, I stabbed up once. As long as we everything stays chill and I don't lose admin power to dumb events, I should eventually get to zero stab and the crisis will stop ticking. Oh, please don't be... Oh, thank God. They didn't actually... Kill me. And stab up one more time and we're good. Now we're fine. See? Disaster aborted. We're alright. We can go to war now. Now take Delhi. Ooh, that's... Oops. Oh, we're still gonna win that. Okay. Oh, that guy's so bad. Let's try again. Oh! Sick shock. That is insane. He also has a siege pip as well, which makes him even more better. What? That's not English. Oh, they just breached my capital. That's really cool. Four ups money. Thank you. I don't care about press expansion or anything. I just realized I cored up before actually fucking hitting stab. I'm so dumb. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. I'm all right. I'll be fine. Oh! Okay, maybe I won't be fine. Uh, oh, 37,000. 37,000. Oh, my corruption is so high. Am I overextending too much? You know what? I might be. I might be overextending a bit too much. Where is all my piety? Jesus fucking Christ. I just lost two whole advisors. <laughs> I just lost... Two whole advisors to an event. I lost two whole ass advisors to an event. <gasps> oh, thank God for that. Now, I'd say it probably isn't the best to go for an admin idea, considering I'm just wasting all of my admin right now, so I should probably change for Diplo. Uh, we'll go trade. How am I going to fight Ming? Because I need... Oh, I need just this and also this from ahayutya but they're also a fucking ming tributary Ming's on 11 mil tech how the hell what do i what am i supposed to do against ming and ming called her fucking golden era of course they did 
Regency is finally done. We have a 144. <gasps> Whoa! F uh, it's not as good as I thought. I mean, 5 admin and mill is pretty good for what I need currently, but that 2 diplo is like really unfortunate. Yeah, I'm getting very impatient. I can become a defender of faith. I actually will take this. Um, they're being annexed? Hello? What? What? They're already being annexed. Mm. May 15, 1546, and I get 1545. Oh, no. Oh, it's gonna be very close. It's gonna be so close. Temporary Insanity of Monarch. Sure. Sure. Oh, my God. I can see more of the world. The Ottomans are doing Ottoman things. Denmark has almost all of Scandinavia. Morocco is in Iberia. Tuzisilis also has parts of Iberia. France is massive. Come on. Yes, yes. All right, I got the mill tech. Uh, it's time to go to war. I just gotta go for it right now, man. I just gotta go for it. Uh, whatever happens, happens, I guess. Oh, I can call it Timurits. Yes, thank God. Oh, turn Miltic 9. What are you gonna do? You can call more allies, Melwa. Yes. Yes, if I can call every single ally I have, that would be nice. I haven't seen a single Ming army yet. I'm scared that at some point they're just. The horde is gonna show up. Hey, okay. there's a Ming unit there. They have guns. <laughs> they do. Oh no. Oh no, they have guns! Oh, there's a Ming army. 32,000. I'm just gonna siege things out. They're already on medium, actually. Why are they on medium? Wait, so they don't think they're strong enough? Wait. They don't think they're strong enough to fight me. You're tech 12? I mean, look at the amount of ideas he has. I mean, I'm actually quite lacking in ideas overall, but... Jesus Christ. Full quantity, full economic, full trade. But they really don't think they can fight me? Is... What? <laughs> oh my god. Well, that's Malwa gone. That's Malwa ceasing to exist real quick. Oh, they just about to take the fort. Uh, no, what's that quite... Oh. This is a hill fort. Oh god. Oh god. If that, if that army comes any closer. <gasps> okay, 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 okay. That's a hill fort. I'm in a major disadvantage. Oh, no, I'm dead. It's over, guys. It's over. 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 I have, nope, nope. Not winning that. Not winning that. Nope, nope, nope. Absolutely not winning that. Oh, no. Let's get the free company out here. And let's please... Consolidate. All right, we'll just play this offensively for now. They can't really get to me. They have to get through these pretty strong forts. They're not very strong, actually, but they're they're on very favorable terrain. Uh, Maul was not going to win that. There's no way Maul wins that. Yeah. Okay. All right, Timurids. Sure. Please, truck all the way to Beijing if you like. They're... they're uh... uh, uh. Hey, Ming, you might want to turn around and deal with the Timurids. They seem to be coming straight to your capital. And they are turning around. They are actually turning around. Oh, yes, I love having allies. <gasps> oh my god! What? Where's Ming going? They're not even going back to the capital. There's no way we take Beijing. If we take Beijing, don't they lose a shit to the mandate? I forgot I this, is, this was here. Oh, they're running away. Oh, there must have been an army there. They have 205,000 men. Please take the fort. Please take the fort. Please take the fort. Please take the fort. <gasps> oh my god, run away. Just go back to defense positions. Retreat back home. What is it? What? What? Excuse me, Ming? Excuse me? This doesn't seem legal at all. I cannot afford to lose 20 army tradition. I'm, I'll have to lose a stab. There we go. There we go. They're on red now. Red? Lieutenant is low. I would like to buy peace you. Thank you. Wow, the Ming are on very low mandate right now. They received so much shock and fire damage. I have significantly more morale than them. 
Timrid's left. Why am I on low war enthusiasm? Relative strength of alliances. Come on, man. Oh, Ming will accept. Um, yeah, is that is that all? Is that all I need? Yep, 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 yep. Yes, I actually beat Ming. I actually won a war against Ming. Guys, I can't believe it. <laughs> I can't believe I've just done the, I've just done that. Delhi's allied to Vigianagon. No. Why do you have to make my life so miserable? Oh, come on. The Ming made the Timurids annual their alliance with me. While I have the momentum, I'm just going to immediately declare or not yet, yeah. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Army just got stack wiped. Oh no! I did not mean for that battle there in the jungle. This is where I lose. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's it. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm dead. 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 Uh. Hmm. <laughs> ah. <sighs> Yes. Oh my god, that's so much money. Alright. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a lot here. First, I'm gonna build up, uh, probably 20 galleys. And they come with this insane commander. I will definitely take that. Put some... What? Oh... God fucking damn it, man! Look, man. No. No. Take it away from me. I don't care. I won't be the de defender of faith. I'm alright. Nope. 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 I'm not joining that. I'm just running around in a massive death stack. I don't care about my attrition at all. I want these guys gone. I need to be in a death stack, really, in order for me to be successful. Oh! What? Okay. That's... That's interesting. If we have at least two stability, we, we gain negative two corruption. So does that mean if I did this, and then did this, and then... Wow. Okay. Once this first line of galleys are built, I'm going straight to Beijing. Okay, that's another win. Dive it once out. Dive it once out. That's perfect. Amazing. I have more heavies. I have more lights. They have a little bit more galleys than me, but I feel like I should be all right. I think if I if if I have the range, can do I even have the range? Come all the way down here. I think I do. I'm going straight all the way up to Beijing. I'm going all the way up to Beijing. Don't take that fort. Don't take that fort. Thank you. <gasps> and they're destroying me. And they're destroying me. They probably have high diplo. They probably have more diplo tech than me. Oh, that's really fucking bad. That, that really hurts my chances of facing them. I actually didn't much. Yeah, they have much higher Diplo than me. Their ships are way better. Okay. All right, we have the Wargo now. Oh, get this army before they take it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't take it. Don't take it. Don't take it. Oh. Oh, they're... Damn, they're charging in there. Oh, 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 no. They're locked in. They're locked in. They're locked in. They're locked in. <gasps> they're not reinforcing? They're not reinforcing? Oh, <gasps> Okay, that's another battle won. Oh, Ming is so close. Ming is so close. Don't let him run away. Kill that entire stack. Kill that entire stack. I know I can. I know I can. They take so much. <gasps> oh, yeah. Please, Ming. <gasps> and now I have won the war. Now I don't have to ever worry about fighting Ming again. This is the last where I need. It's finally been done. I finally took him out of the war. Oh, yes. Now you don't have your big daddy Ming now, huh? Yeah! Oh! Yes. Yes. Delhi. Delhi and Vigianagar war. I need to end this war immediately. Okay. I don't want to be in this war anymore. I'm done. We're done, okay? Give me all your money. War reps. Ugh. 
Okay, finally. Finally, it's done. I've conquered Burma. There's only one more thing I need to do, and that's go for Delhi. And right now is the perfect time because they're at War with Vigianagar. So let's just bring our armies over there. And hopefully we'll be able to end this finally. Okay, we finally dived up enough to get Renaissance in this province here. So hopefully soon we should be able to embrace it. I accidentally deleted one of my armies. I accidentally deleted one of my fucking armies. Oh, what a dumbass I am. Oh, I feel really stupid. Luckily, Delhi isn't that strong, but I really feel dumb. The Ulema influence is at 96. The Ulema influence is at 96. How does that happen? How has it happened? How did that even happen? That's done, finally. I can just increase my government rank right now. Fuck it, sure, I'll do it. Why not? Um, I think I have some explaining to do. About a couple days ago, I continued the recording session on uh, this game, this Bengal game. And you know, I came to my to my computer. I went into U4. I opened OBS, and I didn't click the record button. I sat down for three hours recording what I thought was a very good segment of the video, but I didn't. I only noticed when I went to stop recording because I had stopped to go eat and I realized I never even hit the record button. So here I am. Um, I think I'm a lot bigger than last time you saw me. What? That sounds so bad. So pretty much we conquered all the Hindustan region because that's what we needed for this mission here yes we need to con conquer all of bengal and his region so i went to do that i declared one delhi multiple times i declared one malwa now all we need to do is make sure the devastation goes down uh because the war just recently ended so devastation is gonna be up for a while and also i need to make sure i am the strongest trade power in this lahore trade node um so that might be a bit of an issue, but it might not be too challenging, actually, because all I need to do is just build some trade power buildings. And also, I need to just upgrade these uh, inland ports, or these inland cities, or I mean, in these inland trade centers. Uh, at this point, I don't really care about my monarch ports. I don't care about my tech. We're ending this pretty soon once we click the... Uh, this here. I know nothing actually special happens, but at least, you know, I accomplish something i i could say that this is a campaign completed once i get to the end of it so yeah that's pretty much what we're doing i mean the video would have probably been a lot longer anyway so it's probably for the best that it skipped a lot it was just me conquering more i mean you know the deal i think i'll just maybe skip all until i get there and i don't know maybe something interesting will happen in between but if not then i'll just skip to the end <gasps> we did it it's done Yes, it's permanent claim on Bengal and Hindustan region. I, I mean, um, kind of already have that, but okay. Stability at least two. Now he's stability at least two, 161. All right, fine, fine. Just wait a little bit longer. My heir has come of age. He's shit, but hey, mercenary maintenance constant of 25%. <gasps> oh, all right, that's it. Our capital gets a bunch of development. We get core creation costing of 5%, make a 5% diplomatic annexation cost, and plus 20 prestige, and the tiger is triumphant. Bengal's reach extends from the Punjab to the Chinese frontier. There have been few mightier empires in history, and none better ruled. Celebrations of our victory resound throughout the empire, but nowhere more so than Gouda, where commoners, merchants, scholars, and nobles alike flock to bask in Mir Muhammad Jafar's glory the bengal tiger is triumphant we are victorious and right there is where i call the bengal campaign completes that's that missing tree accomplished done i have more claims i can do more conquests but i've reached the end the tiger is triumphant we have won this was surprisingly fun it, no it's not surprising at all actually i knew this would be fun i just knew also it'd be very long and it did take me a very long time to do uh, it's 1589 i don't know why i just felt like i really want to play this i've been craving it a lot 
like I said in the intro. If you got any tips and tricks, you know, critique, uh, constructive criticism on all that, uh, on how to play, you know, not how to play, but, you know, what I should be doing, uh, what what could help me in my playthroughs, I guess. Uh, again, I'm not a metagamer, so don't give me any metagaming tips where I have to game the system or break features or whatnot. But uh, yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to come back with next. Maybe you can tell me in the comments what nation you want me to play because I can, I mean, there's so many to choose from. Uh, I can play pretty much anything. Uh, give me something, you know, not too challenging, not something that would fucking make me want to commit die. But, you know, just give me something, you know, give me something good. If you enjoyed, please like, comment, subscribe, share this with anyone you know, uh, anyone that you might think would enjoy this content. Uh, please share it. It does help, you know, getting it to more people than it normally would. Um, stay tuned on my channel. Something very special is coming. This was recorded before recording the Stellaris video that should be out uh, after or before this, sorry. And I might go into more detail in the Stellaris video. I might have done. I don't know. I hope I do. What? Uh, and that and all that, you know. Anyways, uh, join me on Discord, of course. Also, I have a Discord, please, if you didn't know. Uh, it's in the description, you know. Go, go check it out. It, you know, things get things get kind of crazy. I'm sorry. It's been Outtain HUD. Signing out. See ya.